today, I'm placing the smallest to the biggest cars in GTA 5. Good luck. Ugh. Finding the first one. Why will I need luck, Simeon? How small are these cars exactly? They're smaller than your eyeball. My eyeball? Wait a minute. Really? I can't imagine a car that small. Well, I guess we'll go and find it then. Remember, get to all nine and I pay you a lot of money. Nine cars it is. So we'll start with the absolute smallest and then we'll work our way up to the biggest. Right, where's the first vehicle Simeon wanted me to get? Maze Bank. All right, that's not too bad. That's one place I've never collected a vehicle from before. Hey, hey, Simeon, what's up? For once, you need to look smart. Buy yourself a suit, or else you're not getting in. Hey, Simeon, I look smart every day, I have you know. What's wrong with a vest and shorts? Right, that's it. we got to make a detour. They won't let me in Maze Bank unless I buy a suit. All right, you stay out here, boy. I'll give you a dog bone at the end of this. All right, good. He's staying outside. If I let him in the store, he's going to make a complete mess of these suits. So, let's see. What looks smart to you guys? I mean, all of these look pretty good, but let's go with Franklin's classic green. All right, he... His color's green. Everything in this game is green. Even his car is green. We're going with the green suit. Well done, boy. Thanks for not eating up the suits. Now, I, I just want to look at the list again because I realized the biggest car is at the military base. So that's what we've got to look forward to. You could only imagine how hard it's going to be to collect that vehicle. <laughs> what exactly are we going to find? Maze Bank. Well, uh, I suppose we're invited. We'll pretend we are. Through the barriers we go. Whoa, this is a full garage. Hey, hang on a second. What kind of parking is that? That's two spaces. That is so greedy. Oh my days. Look at these guys. Three spaces for two cars. Are you kidding me? All right, that's it. I'm going to park my car right here. See how they like that. Yeah, basically in two spaces now. This is pretty busy though. I rarely see Maze Bank this busy. So whatever's going on upstairs sounds pretty important. Let's go and find this car. Whoa, this is a nice office. Now I know why he told me to get a suit. Everyone here is wearing a suit. Right, I'm just going to blend into the crowd and see what's going on. Oh, check it out. Is that really how big the car is? The smallest car in history is inside this box. Whoa, this is exciting. I feel like I'm the first to ever see this. And then when he opens it, I'm gonna steal the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Let me explain a little bit more. Keep explaining, and my fist will go into your face. Okay, well, in that case, no explaining. Let's open. Wow, even these guys are getting impatient, dude. They're gonna be so annoyed when they find out I steal the car. Now, any second now, he's gonna open the box, and the world's smallest car is gonna be inside. <laughs> Is it, does it? And wait, where is it? Hang on a minute. What do you mean, where is the car? It's in that box, isn't it? Uh, I don't see the car. This is a big misunderstanding, okay? What do you mean, misunderstanding? The car's in there. How small is this car? Are you sure it's not in there? I'm looking pretty hard. I don't see anything. <laughs> no way. They're actually using binoculars. <laughs> is the car really that small? Oh, wait a minute. Simeon wants me. Hey, Simeon, I'm in the middle of something. Where is the car? You're late. Whoa, oh, okay, calm down, Simeon. We got a big misunderstanding here, okay? The car, it's coming. We'll find it. Hey, listen, mister. I don't want to play any games with you. Where's this car? It must have fallen out of the box. It's in the office somewhere. Hmm. Well, in that case, we better start looking then. I'm going to take a look around here too. Where would I look? Okay, I'm going to check the floor, like under the desk. Nope, nothing there. Okay, what about behind the lamp? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Oh, this is going to be really hard. If he's actually lost his car, I'm going to be annoyed. It's here, I promise. I saw it this morning. Then why did you put it in a box? Oh, man, this guy doesn't make any sense. Okay, office area. If he were to leave a car anywhere, it would be in here. What about through this door? Bathroom, shoes, suits. Oh, this is so annoying. Ah, oh, man, I keep moving, I guess. What about over here? Lounge. Under the coffee table, under the sofa, maybe. Ooh, under the sofa. It's not under the sofa. Oh, I really got my hopes up. What about the next one? Oh, no, it's not under there either. Wait a second. Is that it? Guys, I found it. There it is. <laughs> now, ever so quietly, grab the car and go. Do -do -do. Don't mind me, guys. Just casually stealing your car. It is like the same size as my face. Simeon exaggerated. It's not quite an eyeball, but I could get this in my hand. Wow, I actually can't believe this. I have officially stolen the smallest car in the universe. I would love to drive this car, but I have no idea how we get in. Is there like a remote control? Franklin, we gotta figure this out. It's insane. Wow. 
<laughs> Check it out. I am officially driving the world's smallest car in GTA 5. This is going to be the best video ever. You would not expect to find anything like this driving around Los Santos. I mean, this is the best car ever, and it is actually really... Well, okay, I would say it's really fast, but I don't really want to crash into things. Hey, what are you doing? He stopped. Dude, this guy doesn't even want to go over me. Okay, let's just go around that guy. I'm pretty sure I could drive under his car. I love the flames on this, by the way. Like, whoever designed this, fantastic job. You know how to make toy cars. As far as speed goes, no complaints there. I mean, this is pretty fast. Hey, coming through, lady. Don't mind me. Just gotta keep moving. Wait, can I look underneath? It's even got, like, an engine. It's got, like, everything you need on a car. And it's even got a number plate. Imagine me and the officer trying to, like, write this car in. <laughs> What's the plate, officer? I don't know. I'm trying to read it, but I need a magnifying glass. Yeah, no one's catching me in this. We can do literally anything in this car. Wait, to think Franklin is still standing at Maze Bank. I mean, yes, it's a car, but, bro, you can't get inside. Maybe Simeon meant only an eyeball can fit inside the car. That would be much more accurate. But, hey, let's just get this back to Simeon before we lose this ride, because there's still eight more vehicles to find, including the biggest vehicle ever. Finally, look who showed up. Hey, come on, Simeon. I tried my best, okay? And after all, I still got the car for you. It just took a while to find it. That's all. You got the list? Yep, I got the list, Simeon. And it says the next place is the park. That's right. Go get it. This one is easy. Okay, uh, if the last one was easy, do I really want to trust you again? Whoa, that's a Lego car. And it's pretty big for a Lego car. That's got to cost a lot of money. I mean, imagine going to the Lego store and buying that. Guys, you have done great. Do you know if this actually works? Of course it works. You're dealing with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I don't actually know who you guys are, but uh, this is a nice car. Mind if I steal it from you guys? Actually, I'm not even asking anymore. Let, I'm just stealing this car. Okay, get out of here. Leave at least one person behind. You're going down. All right, gotta leave a message. No one gets in my way. Check it out. It's a Lego supercar. I think it's a McLaren too. Wow, do I do I carry this one back or do I still drive it back? I mean, if I drive it, then I gotta hide in a bush and roll this back to Simeon. This is crazy. It's even got the Lego pieces on too, which is wild. Okay, I gotta test this out. Let's, let's hide in this dumpster, actually. No one will find me in here. Franklin, just, just get in. Cool, check this out. <laughs> I'm tearing up so much grass in this. Right, I gotta be careful I don't crash this. If it really is made out of Lego and it looks like it is, we could split this into like a thousand pieces. Ooh, bunny rabbit. Hello. Well, what's your name? A little bit close. Not too close. What do you think of my Lego car, bunny rabbit? This is definitely bigger than the last car. I, I, I can only imagine how big the biggest car really is. This guy is not phased at all. All right, let's just... I'm gonna get out of here. You enjoy your day, Mr. Rabbit. Right, let's get this back to Simeon. And as long as the bin lorry doesn't come, we're gonna be a okay. I've gone the wrong way already. We gotta go this way home. If I take this corner, three, two, one. <laughs> It's so slow at taking corners. Careful, careful, careful. Don't crash. Don't crash. What did I say about crashing? We've already done a few scratches at the front of this machine. And that windscreen is plastic. Do not be mistaken, Franklin. Well, this car was so much easier to find than the smallest one. I'm kind of glad we're not going downsizing anymore. I mean, any car smaller than the first one would have been impossible to even find. Did the lights work on this? I need to try this. Oh, my days. Even the lights work. How crazy is that? Does it have a horn? Let me, let me try this out. What? How does this even have a horn? These guys have put some weird levers in these cars because I can jump around with this ride if I wanted to. Check it out. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Okay, that was too high. That was a little bit too high there, Franklin. And it's got hydraulics. Check it out. Wow. Oh dear. Okay, the windscreen has come off. That sucks. And I have done something to the back. You, you can't see the number plate anymore. But that's all right. Everything's fine. It's still intact. My house is just down here. So everything's got to be fine. Two down. Seven to go. Well, you heard the boss. Can't exactly be lazing around right now. We need to find the rest of these cars. Whoa, this house is massive. Who lives here? Oh, yeah, my list said billionaire. Th that would explain it then. So we're taking a car from a billionaire. I don't know much about this guy. All I know is he's got a car we want and he's got lots of security protecting it. I can only imagine what's in there. Okay, there's one guard up there. Even another guard on the balcony. Hey, what's, what's he saying? Sorry! Uh, yeah? Come here! I need help. Jam and peanut butter or peanut butter and jam. Um, jam and peanut butter? Yuck! Who are you, Terry? Get off the team! Who on earth is this guy? What was that about? Right, that's it. I'm storming in and I'm taking that car. You, get down! Has anyone else? You, no one saw that. That was perfect. Right, let's go for him next, then. But, sorry, buddy. Uh-oh, okay. He's seen me and I see. 
like they're looking for me now, but they don't know where I am. This is great. Oh, hang on. He knows where I am. One second. Whoopsie. Sorry, buddy. My finger slipped. Yeah. 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 Hey, you were going to get me. All right, just, just die gracefully. Thank you. Now, let's go to the house and grab this car. Oh, my days. There's still even more guards there. Why didn't they chase me? He must have been sleeping on the job. Right, if anyone else is still standing, they're going down. Oh, my days. There's more of them. Guys, where are you coming from? Okay, I think that's all of his guards. Apart from the guy who just got kicked off the team. This is insane. This guy's got his own gym. That's a huge gym. And his own basketball court. Oh my days. I'm really jealous. I want this guy's house. But the only thing I really want today is his car, which is down there. Really? All of this protection for this car? It definitely looks small. It's got two turbocharged engines. No, this guy can't be serious. This is a human-sized Hot Wheel car. Do you guys remember? Remember those toy cars you play with as kids? The ones you would like put your fingers on and go all around ramps and stuff. This is what it is. And it's life size. I think I can actually fit inside this. Add a squeeze. Franklin, get inside. <laughs> I don't care if you're uncomfortable. We are driving this car. Oh, there goes the engine. I've just about fit inside the car, which is great. Now let's take this on the road. This is the life size Hot Wheels car. And I would not want to crash into the front of this. It is a huge point with the turbocharged engines though. I mean, this is gonna go at serious speeds. In fact, it already is pretty fast, but I know we can go faster and faster we will go. This is what it looks like from first person. I'm pretty sure Franklin's head is out the window. The speed dials are outside of the car. All right, now I understand why this guy's got protection. I would wanna protect this car too. It can do 200 miles an hour. That's what happens when you put two engines in this beast. It is literally a death trap. I mean, if I crash this ride, we are dead, but it's a Hot Wheels. I'm very happy to be driving this. All I gotta do now is find a huge loop to take this route. That would literally be insane. Well, Simeon, just as you ordered, here's your brand new ride. Hey, I blend in with this car. Look at the size of this compared to my actual car, by the way. Like, this is half the size, would you say? Eh, I don't care. Simeon, this is yours. It's going in the garage. Now, what's the next one on my list? Theater. Is that the movie theater or the dome? I'm gonna check out the movie theater first. There's one on Vinewood. I'm pretty sure Simeon meant the movie theater. Why would there be a car at the actual, like, acting theater. No, no, no. It's gotta be the movie theater. And if it is, I really hope it's a famous movie car. Alright, there's only one way to find out. There's quite a few people outside. This might be promising. What's showing? Meltdown. If I end up getting Michael's car, I'm gonna be really happy. I'm pretty sure that movie's about him. Uh, oh, hang on a second. There's photographers. No way. And that looks like the car from Toy Story. The best movie around. Who wants to watch? Toy Story! I knew it! Yes! <laughs> hey, I would love to watch the film, but can I watch it in the car? That's a silly question, but, uh, yes, you can actually. No way, I can? Do you mind if I go inside? Be my guest. No way! I actually gotta go inside this car. Little does he know is I'm about to steal this ride. This is crazy. It's from Pizza Planet. Have you guys watched Toy Story? You know the Pizza Planet. Oh, of course you know the Pizza Planet car. Right, jump inside. Buzz Lightyear's on the front. What's up, Buzz? How are you doing, my guy? Wow, I actually feel like I'm in the real deal. And it's even got a dirigible bobbing up and down on the front. Wow. Hey, buddy, I'll be taking this. Thank you. I don't really want to watch your movie anyway. I'll watch it another time. See you later, guys. <laughs> I have officially stolen the Pizza Planet car. And this is is actually kind of normal size. I can fit inside comfortably. This might be the normal size car. If this is, I think every single car after this has to be big or at least getting bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually we got to steal the one from the military base, which I'm not gonna lie, does sound kind of terrifying. But if you're enjoying the video so far, smash like and help us get to 7 million subscribers. I mean, actually we're trying to get to 10 million, but we'll get there one day. But please subscribe. Anyway, I'm just gonna wrap this car around to my house. Well, Buzz Lightyear, welcome to your a brand new home. You're gonna like it here. I got a dog. He's really nice and friendly. He might eat the pizza, but hey, it's all right. You don't like pizza anyway, right, Buzz? Hey, Simeon, I got the next car for you. Have you seen Toy Story? You know, Pizza Planet, the best car ever. I don't watch the movies. Who do you think you're talking to? You don't watch movies? Simeon, you're the most boring person I know. Okay, let's just get this in the garage and get the next one. Sandy Shores Airfield. Look out for a car, guys. I have a feeling this one is gonna be pretty big. Looks pretty empty to me. Wait a minute. I think I can see him. That's definitely a car. Is that the big one we're looking for? Oh, it's so hard to tell. It does look kind of big. Right, I'm gonna wait for him to come back around here. He's gotta be doing laps on the airfield or something. I don't wanna snipe this guy, but I'll, I will if I have to. Where has he gone? Wait, 
a second. I think he's coming around here. Did I just see movement? Oh, check it out. No way. There it is. <laughs> wow. Franklin, don't let him escape. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. Pretend we're nice and friendly. He's playing music really loud. This guy is having a proper jam. Hey, fancy showing me around the car, mister? I promise I'm fine. You just keep enjoying your music and chill around Sandy Shores. Sounds like he's doing some racing before a big event. This is definitely bigger than what they're meant to be. Look how big he is inside of it. He's tiny. <laughs> hey, buddy. Love your car. Where would you get it from? Oh, not much of a speaker, eh? Well, that's all right. I know plenty of people like that. Do you mind if I uh, give this a test ride? No? No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, can I ask a few questions at least? I don't think he enjoys that too, but I think I can ask him at least one question. All right. Well, my first question is, when do you want the car back by? <laughs> I'm joking, buddy. It's mine. Come on, get out. This is all mine. Oh, my days. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Drive, Franklin, drive. Oh, that was so crazy. He started shooting me. Well, this is the biggest racing car I have ever come across. And to think we started with a car this small and now we have this. I would love to see this on the racetrack. It would absolutely dominate every single car. It would completely destroy them. They're gonna need to add some new rules to make sure you can't have cars this big. He popped a tire. Are you kidding me? All right, mister, I don't appreciate that kind of stuff, so I would kindly ask that you get out of here. Franklin, uh, drive. Okay, he clearly doesn't want to shoot him. For some reason, I can't shoot. Maybe we're too small. Oh, my days. This is first person. No wonder why I can't shoot from here. I can't even look over the edge. Well, I'm gonna have to guess where I'm going. I think I'm going in the right direction. Am I on the road yet? <laughs> <laughs> no idea if I'm on the road. Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely was not on the road. Well, that explains a lot. With only three working tires, I'm sure CBR will find another tire somewhere. Will this impact my pay? Definitely. Will I let it? No. So, I'll admit, Simeon, there was a little bit of a kerfuffle here. I did lose a, a tire, but hey, everything is fine. I think what we should be celebrating is that there's not a single scratch on this car, which I think is a big success. How would you like it if I began drilling your ground? I wouldn't like that at all. Simeon, why are you doing that? To show you how damage works. Oh, Simeon, don't do this, all right? So I damage the car. He damages my house. This is so immature. You know what? I'm going to go and check out the next location. I'll see you later. To see me on. So, what do we think? 20 million bucks? Oh, uh, no, man. She's pretty big. How do you get this up here? With a squeeze. It's possible. You, you trust me. I don't know, man. I mean, that, that's kind of... Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, no, it works. I, I promise. I'll give you my word. Does uh, your, your word give us refunds, too? Um, no. Do you want the car or what? Let me, uh, let me think about it, okay? How in the world did they get that up here? That is a gigantic Lamborghini. I'm losing my patience. Buy the car. All right, we, we better act quickly, Franklin. But careful, careful, careful. This is a big drop. Ow. Ah, ah. Franklin, you good? Hello? What was that noise? Yeah, we'll take it. Do you accept check? Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> we almost got caught. Oh, yeah. It really sounds like they've taken the deal. I can hear the engine, and it's shaking the entire car park. <laughs> Franklin, we need to get that Lamborghini before they do crazy damage to it. If they try and take it down this car park, it's going to destroy the whole building. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They tried. They actually tried. Clearly, they can't get this out, which means I have to take this off them and get it out of here. Franklin, jump in. Hey, who's in my car? Oh, okay. We better get out of here. Franklin, drive, drive. Over the ramp, over the ramp, go! <laughs> can't even see what's going on. Okay, so I am officially driving the biggest car yet, and they're only gonna get bigger than this. This won't even go in my garage. There is no chance. I just don't even believe it will. I mean, compare this to the traffic light. We're halfway up. We take up both sides of the road. Even if I try and stay in my lane, it's super duper tricky to do it. Hey, let's run over some people. Hey, guys, where do you think you're going to? Whoopsie. <laughs> Easy now. Steady. Don't want to cause too much of a crash with this. If I crash this car too, we're gonna do a lot of damage, so let's just keep this in one condition, shall we? This is meant to be Franklin's view, by the way, and it is atrocious. I literally can't see anything. I can't even reach the gear stick. So, Simeon, where do you want this car? It's it's definitely not gonna fit in my garage. Oh, and I see you started playing guitar now, too. Good to see you're doing something good. Don't worry about the car. I'll deal with it. Go grab the next one. Very well, Simeon. Okay, you're the boss. I just realized the wheels are the same height as Franklin. You know we're getting into some big territory when the cars are this size. Where would you like the car, sir? How am I going to park that? Not my problem. Uh, you figure it out. 
Whoa. So this is what Simeon meant when he said car collector. <laughs> this must be his house, and that is the car he just ordered. Okay, I really want to drive this now. I mean, can you only imagine how much fun this is going to be? <laughs> We're going to be able to go to space and maybe even fly to Mars in this machine. The number plate is bigger than Franklin. You guys saw the last one. The wheel was bigger than me. This is the number plate we're talking about. Franklin, we could walk under this car if we tried. <laughs> okay, let's just get away from the back and jump in. I'm inside the ride. I don't know where I am, but I am in here. <laughs> so that's all that matters. It's got some really interesting wires which take you to the rocket and all of those switches down there do something to the rocket at the back. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. There's yellow settings, there's green settings, there's red settings. I wonder what the red one does. This is actually kind of interesting. I get to see everything in the car. Like look at that switchboard. There's so many things going on. Yeah, as expected, I am at the same height as the pedals. So uh, this is gonna be a blind drive for Franklin. It's gonna be fine. What did I say? I told you it'd be fine. I can see everything now. That is a scary looking engine. All right, let's just drive away from this house first and get away from this guy. I take up the entire road now. There is not a doubt about it. If anyone gets in my way, it's the last thing they'll ever see, just the front of this car. All right, so we're approaching the desert. I, I probably should try this on the actual airfield, but we're just gonna try this now. So use that engine of yours. <laughs> Wow, okay, maybe don't use that engine on a turning. That That is not a good idea. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I've done, but the car now has a huge fire coming from the back. It's fine. It's not pointing at the car, and it only adds to the coolness of this ride. I found some people, finally, and they are being absolutely annihilated. <laughs> hey, where do you think you guys are going to? Wow, okay, we have left quite a trail of cars behind us. Let's just keep driving. I mean, I'm not doing this. They're driving in to me. Yet some may argue I'm on the wrong side of the road, but guys, when you're in a car this big, you make the rules, okay? No one tells you what to do. All right, that's it. If anyone else tries to get in the way of this car, you are being sent all the way to the moon, okay? I am speeding down this road. Wow, okay, I wouldn't want to be that guy. Oh, Simeon, what do you want? Simeon, what is it? Stop being an idiot and give me the car. Fine, Simeon. How do you know? I know what you're like, Franklin. I guess he does. All right, well, Simeon doesn't trust us, as he shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, I just sent that guy all the way to Los Santos. Um, Simeon, you, you wanted to see me? I'm back. See? I told you I'll be back in one piece. Not a single scratch on this car. If you ask me, that's that's a success. I mean, uh, this car's in my tree now. Hey, Simeon, I'm doing damage to my own tree for you. I don't care. Get me the next car. Are you trying to sing to me right now, Simeon? I've never heard him sing. Oh, Simeon's trying to sing. Get me the car, Frank. I'm not messing around. Around. Whoa, whoa, okay, 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 Simeon, I'll get you the car, don't worry. No need to do that now. Polito Bay, where? That's the, literally the most vague instruction I've seen. Uh, maybe we'll get a better view up here. I, I can already see over the whole of Polito Bay. I'm looking for a car even bigger than... Ah, yeah, okay, maybe that's why it was vague. It sticks out like a sore thumb. That's so easy to spot. All right, let's take a look at that ride then. Who owns the car? That's huge takes up like the whole mountainside. Be careful, Franklin. I can hear gunshots. Can you guys hear that? I think somebody else is trying to steal their car. I would too. I mean, imagine if you saw this on your hillside. It's not exactly well hidden or subtle. I mean, what do you do with a car this big? <laughs> it's bigger than trees. What are they shooting at? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, guys, don't exactly see anything in the sky. Yay ha! Oh, okay. They're just shooting their guns for the sake of shooting them. Well, hey, let me join in with the fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys miss me out. Well, now they're dealt with. Let's go and take their car. How did they end up with a car this big? How, how am I even going to get in? Or what if we climb the tree and then maybe jump to the door? I honestly have no idea how we're going to do this. Uh, my head literally just about reaches the metal of the tire. So this is what the underneath of the car looks like. Pretty cool. You know, it's, it's pretty basic down here. I climb the tree. And if we jump to the door, we can do this. Three, two, one. This is my Ford Raptor. Anyone who drives off-road is gonna be jealous of this. Let me tell you. You can fit a house in the back if you wanted to. No, actually, you could fit 10 houses.
houses in the back. That's how big this car is. I made it to the road and I am happy to announce we are on our way home. Uh, this is gonna crush my house, so I need to find another place to park this. So this car is officially so big that it won't actually fit on the road. Nonetheless, I'm still finding a way to drive this. I don't care if we're tight roping on these barriers, but we're doing it. <laughs> this is seriously big, but it's not the biggest. We're yet to find that, which is currently... Oh my days, is that the military base? It's time! I'm no expert, but uh, I spy with my little eye and I can see the biggest car in ever existence <laughs> made by the military. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? That turret right there could destroy your house in one shot. Okay, I gotta get my hands on it. I'm sneaking in. I don't care if the military catch me. The moment I get in that car, no one is gonna be able to stop me. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. No one sneaking in. What's that? Me? I'm just a guest. Wait a second. It's bigger than a warehouse. They can't store this anywhere. Well, you know what they say. When it's this big, you may as well take it away. I mean, I'm doing them a favor. Imagine getting rid of a car like this. Where would you even start? Oh, no. There's people training. Hey, guys, go. Get out of here. Right, that's it. I'm shooting them. Three, two, one. Get them, Franklin. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Please do yourself a favor. Get out of here. Right. I've taken out like a bunch of the military. That means they're going to be coming after me. So I'm just going to jump in this machine and get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have made it into the biggest car in existence. Well, this is going to be an interesting drive. I can't even see where I'm meant to go. Right. You know what? Let's just get over this fence right now. I have done it and officially collected the biggest car in GTA 5. This is so big that no road is going to be able to fit this ride. Anyway, which car was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and smash like on the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome.